Welcome to WCSU Library Tutorials. In this video, we'll be covering the Ruth Haas Library. The Haas Library is located on the northwest side of the Midtown campus, between the parking garage and the quad. During regular sessions, the library is open seven days a week. Hours may vary from semester to semester, so always make sure to check out our website at library.wcsu.edu for the most up-to-date openings and closings. From the main entrance, the circulation desk is located to the right. Here you can check out items including books, DVDs, and course reserves. In addition, you could find our reference and research desk just behind circulation. Here you can meet with a librarian to learn the ins and outs of conducting college-level research for papers and projects. Make sure to check out our website to see when this desk is staffed by a librarian or to book a one-on-one -on -one appointment. To the left, you'll find a hallway that leads to the archives in the Midtown Computer Center. The Computer Center is available to students 24 hours a day when classes are in session. Aside from computers and printers, you could also find reading accessibility equipment here. Through this doorway, you can make your way down to our archives and special collections, open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., Monday to Thursday, or by appointment. Here, you'll find historical records of WCSU dating back to its founding in 1903 as the Danbury Normal School. Collections include personal papers, local government and organizational records, visual materials, maps, journals, various media, art, and artifacts. On the main floor past the glass elevator, you'll find tables, chairs, and computers to use for studying. Our peer mentors are also located in the back area near the large book collection. Thanks to the efforts of WCSU Social Work Club, we are also able to provide a special desk for our students and faculty with young children. On the second floor, you'll find the Tutoring Resource Center. Here you can connect with peer tutors that will help you meet all of your studying needs. Check out their webpage to book an appointment and learn more about the subjects they cover. On the third floor, you'll find the Writing Center. Here you can book consultations to help make informed decisions about your writing. Also located on the third floor are the periodicals and government documents, Classroom 312, and our collection of DVDs. The fourth floor marks the beginning of our physical book collection. Additionally, on the fourth floor you'll find accessibility services. They're here to coordinate and provide support services to over 400 undergraduate and graduate students with documented disabilities. They work with each student on a case-by-case -case basis to ensure that they develop their skills to be successful, independent learners. On the fifth floor, you'll find the remainder of our physical collection, including our collection of children's literature. Additionally, you can find Meeting Room 508, located on the south wall of the building. In addition to all these locations and services, you could find study rooms on the first and third floors. Study rooms on the fourth floor are also bookable with limited availability. Rooms can be booked in person at the circulation desk. Outside of study rooms, the fourth and fifth floors are designated quiet study spaces. Aside from the library's physical space, it's important to become familiar with its digital space. From the library's homepage, there are several features that you can access. WestSearch, our library's one-stop spot for looking up physical and digital books, scholarly journals, articles, and course reserves. You can also find a list of popular scholarly databases or access our full list of over 200 scholarly and subject-specific databases. Our library and research guides are also available to students and faculty, each one tailored by librarians to a specific topic, information concept, or school of study. When you're on our site, make sure to keep an eye out for this chat icon. When it's orange, it means that a librarian is ready to answer your questions via a live chat. When it's grayed out, it means that your question will be placed into a queue and a librarian will respond to you via email within the next few days. Thanks for watching this video. For more information on the WCSU libraries, make sure to check out our website as well as your YouTube page for more tutorials.